Get in here, family. I want to talk with you about the top characteristics for being a pinch hitter. Now, I can tell you for sure, if you're a pinch hitter, you are winning. We don't talk about this phenomenon so much in business, but it's very common in baseball. Perhaps we should. Let's get started. If you are a pinch hitter, you have a high quality ego. What does that mean? You can get over yourself and you can simply get the job done when it's time. So many times if we are experiencing competition at work, we get a little sore if we weren't chosen the first time. But if we are chosen the second time or as a pinch hitter, let's just get in there and do a great job. Don't worry about our bruised ego. All right, secondly, we have to stay ready. If we are subject matter experts, we have to stay focused by reading books, listening to uh, videos. We have to be lifelong learners if we're going to stay apprised and give the very best, most timely information. All right, guys, here is the big A word. I love that we are now studying adaptability. I'm going to tell you it's actually the new black. It looks good everywhere and it fits for every occasion. Last but not least, respond well under pressure. Pinch hitters focus on the tasks that they are responsible for. They are not worried about who's watching them, how many people are in the audience, or who's judging them. We are worried about just getting the job done. Those are some fantastic characteristics of pinch hitters. I was inspired today um, to make this video, video for you by a few things that have been happening um, all month where I had the chance to be a pinch hitter, but what made me make the video and realize the value of a pinch hitter is when I was supported by one. Enrique Gonzalez, I truly appreciate you. So thank you for helping me out when it was time. Bye-bye for now. I'll talk to you soon. That's a terrible thing to say, right? Okay. That, that, that truth was your battle when you all you should be doing is standing for truth. But no, I, I, I that, that was my deal. So um, anything that hinders you from being true to your success um is is what k factors are that is that is profound and amazing well i'll, I'll give you my example okay right? because i had to go through this before i could realize that hey this is something that needs to be dealt with okay so i was a by everybody's account i have always been a good man Okay. But I had a I had a struggle with truth. Mm. You know, because it was it was my aim to hide truth in order so that I can continue to look good in people's eyes. Mm. Well that that hiding of truth only amounted into a, a pile heap of lies. And then once you get overrun by lies, there there's no way for you to see truth. So although I was a good man to everybody's account, uh, I, I lost myself because mm -hmm. I was busy living somebody else's truth. And so uh, I became, uh, you know, I, I, I would just say uh, deceptive. It, it wasn't who I was. Um, now I didn't do anything uh, in the ter in terms of proving them wrong, but inside of me, I was I was getting rotten inside because of my inability to just accept myself for who I was, and I was I was just playing roles, and so uh, that, you know th that is so profound. Really, I mean, honestly, I could make a whole show 
<laughs> about, about that piece alone, you were hiding truth. And I have to say that um, we are asking people so often to live authentic, authentic mm -hmm. be authentic. When you're doing these lives, be authentic, yada, yada, yada. We're constantly saying that. And mm -hmm. that is because that has been part of 